Mother Nature made this enormous resource and it all sits in one little area called the Clarion Clipperton Zone. It has enough of the materials we need to build all the electric vehicle batteries, all the storage batteries, several times over. We have 126 box scores that we have to collect on this campaign. All stations, all stations, box score breaking the surface coming today. What we'll do is collect all the nodules from the box call. We describe, classify, photograph, and weigh them. The nodules are going to be used for a resource estimation. Great day to be a geologist. We're going out deploying a number of instruments on moorings throughout the whole water column to understand how, how the water column behaves so that we can get a baseline of what's there. Campaign 5A is the first campaign for the environmental impact assessment. We've got a number of research institutions who are doing various studies on the bottom sediments and the nodules. In this benthic campaign, we're using the multicorer to collect undisturbed seabed sediment samples. Getting undisturbed seabed sediment samples back onto the vessel is actually quite a big challenge. We're setting ecological baselines of environmental health of the benthic environment, which means the seafloor and all of the biological communities that live on the seafloor. This research will set a precedent among any future industries relating to the blue economy of setting environmental baselines. The purpose of this campaign is to test the technical performance of a prototype nodule collector vehicle and to measure and investigate the immediate impacts of that vehicle in a controlled area of the seabed. We're working with high-tech machines working on a complex problem at, at 4,200 meters depth. It's a serious technical and logistical challenge. You're trying to do something that very few, if anybody, has ever done before. The collector has been doing really, really good. Collecting the nodules, driving over the seabed. We did all kinds of different tests with different speeds, curves, you name it. Yeah, nodules. We have learned a lot from this project and we'll be using all information we learned to design a larger collector for Project Zero. The scientific information collected last year gave us insight into the immediate impact on the environment but now we'd like to know how the environment has responded to that impact one year on. <laughs>